Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Beast. And Mrs. Beast. And welcome to Rain of Fire's Arc Tutorials. Hello, everybody. This is Beast. Welcome back to uh, Rain of Fire Tutorials. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to do a proper ramp. Uh, because you wouldn't believe how many times I've seen this. Um, where people start to go down with their ramp and then they get stuck they can't go any further and then they don't know what to do so usually what they they try to do is use pillars and then a ceiling and try to match it just right uh, even when I was uh, starting out even I did that uh, I didn't know all the mechanics uh, you know that go into this but uh, I do know a little, a little bit more about that now, and so I'm going to show you how to do a proper ramp. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this. And the most important thing that you need to remember is that we're going to have to go out with ceilings until you're able to reach the bottom because then you're gonna have to snap in to the support which will be the pillars that uh, reach the ground So we will go three wide, that should be any big for any dyno. And we will go as far as we can, which I think that should be it right there. Two out, yep. All right. So now we're going to use pillars. To attach to the side of the cliff and then we're going to keep on going out I had my quits right now. We'll make this work. Alright, there we go. So that should give it support and we should be able to go two out. Now we're going to go back down. And I think I might need some more pillars. Let's see if I have it in here. Nope. That should be enough. All right. Ah, this one might be close to reaching the ground. We'll see. Oh. 
have that one there. All right, so it did reach the ground. That's good. Now, at this point, you have two options. One, you can use a uh, foundation, but since the ground is not even, it's going down, uh, you won't be able to use uh, too many of them because then you'll end up having to put in a, uh, a pillar. But either a pillar or a foundation will work. Foundations on me. Anyways, um, now that we reach the bottom, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up here, and then we're gonna go uh, start going down with our ramps. But before we do that, we're gonna keep on going with our support. And like I said, you have to make it snap. So you, you have a couple of options here. You can either go this way. Um, as you can see, it's, it's, it's snapped. Um, if I move around over here, that won't work. But there it snaps. So when that happens, you're basically continuing on the series. And the series goes from here on over. So you could sit there and do this, and then you would have to put a ceiling on top and go to the next one, but that's a lot of wasted materials. So the other option is um, to just use ceilings, and then you put the support where it's needed. in the ground. All right, uh, that looks like it could be good enough. We might need to go a little bit further out, but we'll see. Now I'm just going to go down the middle, see how far we can go, see if we can touch the ground. Oh, that's as far as we got, okay. If the ground was flat, I would be using uh, just foundations. All right, if I go f out further, see it's going to start touching the, the ramp, and I really don't want to do that. So what you can do is you can come down lower, and that way it doesn't touch. And that should probably get us there. But if not, then we may have to get even lower down here. See right there? But let's try that first. Oh, guess we are going to have to go one more. All right. In this situation, 
the reason it doesn't want to go on is because of the ramp. I really don't like for it to be touching, but uh, let me see if I put this one in the right spot. There's two little areas that you can put it in. It looks like it's in the right spot. All right, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to destroy this because unlike the ceilings, the ramps are not all that finicky. And it's just barely going to be touching. Got the most important thing the support all right and there we go so now we can go to the top and finish it out Get some more ramps real quick. And there you have it. Nice flawless ramp. So just remember the most important thing is go out far enough to until you can touch the ground at the bottom with the pillars. So if that had not touched the bottom, I would have just kept on going a couple more and then gone straight down until I reached it. And then once you, you're down at the bottom, just snap in the rest um, with ceilings or if, like I said, if it's flat, just use, uh, you can uh, use foundations and like I did on, on the bridge uh, in another video. Uh, but I hope you like it uh, and uh, that's it for me. So I'll see you at the next video.